Hello everyone, welcome to Lucy's Larkin Adventures. And um, we're here at the um at the lovely outskirts of Bath today on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning. You can see the sunshine in there, hear the birds singing. Um, and we are um, just about to go for a lovely long walk um, through some woods. Um, so we'll show you some of our journey because it is uh, really quite lovely. Um, and we're on the trail of some water somewhere deep down in the bottom of this valley uh, where we hope there's um, a source to some really cool stuff. So uh, we'll bring you with us um, and show you our journey. Bring you back shortly. Okay, so hopefully you can hear the sound of lovely trickling running water um, and just look at it, hopefully you can spot it down there as well. It's just, uh... So the water is running down this um, gully, we're still quite high at the moment, but look at it, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. Um, and this is one of the places that we've wanted to come and explore um, sort of in the height of summer on a lovely hot sunny day. But, um, but as you know, if you watch the channel, we've had... Um, We've, we've not been able to get out as much as we wanted to this summer so we're going to try it today we don't know what to expect we don't know if there are going to be treasures there but we're going to go and have a look all the same um and uh and fingers crossed and then we can always come back in summer uh, if we need to hi everyone so i've brought you back because we've just um sort of joined the water as you can see the sunlight glinting off the top of the water it is still very shallow and we are still quite high here but i just wanted to show you around because look at this as it the water's sort of coming through here this lovely little um it's like a little cubby hole look at it like something out of an ena blyton book um, and just over here i was just starting to have a look because you know you never know when you might start finding things and uh i could spot a little bit of Oh, hang on, I've still got my glove on. Take that off. A little bit of pottery. Let's see. Oh, look. It has got a pattern on it as well, so that's really neat. Look at this. It's quite creepy in here. So, this is a really good sign. It does mean that we're on the trail of some stuff, I think. And then, when we just go and have a look up over here, that's my glove. Look. In the bank next to it. Oh, it feels like actually quite substantial. So let me try and um, unearth it a minute. Yeah, get Ryan to dig it out a second and then we'll show you. It feels bigger than it looks. So bear with me a second. Okay, so Ryan just pulled it out. And the reason I couldn't pull it out with uh, two fingers is because look at the size of it. I absolutely would never have expected that from um, just the little bit that was peeping out. And look at it, it's just magnificent. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at Ryan. Yeah, I think it probably was round. It's just a really lovely colour and it's got like, look, this little winged horses and everything on it. Ah, that's lovely. So that is, um, it's going to go in my bag already um, and we'll take that with us down to uh, towards the water. Let's have a bit more of a dig round here and see if there's anything else. But it's a good sign, isn't it, that we're, we're sort of on track. There's this little piece as well. Look, this looks old. It's definitely got some age to it, hasn't it? So yeah, here I am in my little secret, my little secret cubby hole. And uh, yeah, we're already on the trail of some finds. So that's super. My feet are in the water already, so that's good. And on we go. I'll bring you back uh, when we're down at the, uh, at the bottom. See you soon. Okay, guys, I've just quickly brought you back. We're still poking around um, the little cubby hole where we were just a second ago because um, we can't leave it without just making sure we're not missing anything else really cool. Um, and Ryan's found this old plastic bag. Now, normally, we wouldn't pay any attention to something like this. Um, but there was a little hole in the bottom. And hanging out the hole in the bottom was some shiny stuff. So we have had a little look inside. And it is quite interesting. Look. At this. I think that's everything. Yeah. A plastic bag filled up with plastic beads. Shiny ones. Look at that. Isn't that just quite wonderful? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think they're particularly precious. They don't feel, um, you know, like diamonds or anything, which is always a shame. But how unusual is it to find a bag of jewels? in the middle. Oh, look at this. This is lovely. A little brooch. So yeah, I mean, who knows how it's ended up there. Lots of little beads. Look, they were obviously part of one necklace before. With a little clasp there in the middle. So yeah, quite unusual, 
quite exciting to find something like that. We never, I don't think we've ever found anything like that before. So all I can imagine is that they were just put in a bag and thrown out in a sort of household waste. And we're obviously at the site of that household waste with that broken plate, etc. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so we're still on route to the water. You can just hear it over there, hopefully. So we're following it downhill. But it's just, I mean, we've been going a good while and it's just beautiful. The weather's great. The scenery's great. Uh, yeah, so we're having a really good time. Okay, on we go. Feels like we've not even got to the end of our, you know, the location of our adventure yet. And uh, we're already pretty on track to find some cool stuff, hopefully, and see some cool things. So I'm having a great time. We'll be back soon. Okay, so I've just brought you back. Um, we are here, um, we've got to the, the water sort of at the bottom of the valley, but you can see that it, um, we've still got a way to go to find somewhere that we can sort of get in and follow it along. But look at this area. The colours here, the autumn colours are just stunning. Um, and we've just, so we've just been sort of having a little scooch around in the bit of water behind me and, um, and in the woods. And Ryan's just sort of almost tripped over this thing here. So we're gonna give it a tug. Oh, look, it's longer than we thought. What is that, what do you think, Ryan? Bedstead or something? I think it's a fire poker. Fire poker, do you think? It's pretty nice, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, well, that's really cool. So we might take that home, you know, actually. That might be a bit of a keeper. So hopefully um, there's more to come and we'll bring you back soon. Okay, so I've managed to get in the water here because I've just spotted something and then as soon as I've got in, I've just muddied it up so that you probably can't quite see it yet. But it, oh, there we go, it's clearing a bit. So I've just got in after this because uh, I want to see what this is. So this is the first sort of complete bottle find we've had today. It's a really nice one. I think we've seen a couple like this before actually. Um, they're a sort of almost like a sauce bottle shape, but they've definitely got some age to them. Look at that. And they're just, yeah, they're just lovely, aren't they? Really nice shape. So yeah, that's a good sign. And there's a couple of other things I just want to poke around while I'm here. You know, but it's just a rock, I think. Look at this. Can you see that? Oh, some sort of weird hook or something. Look at this, Ryan. I'll show Ryan, see what he makes of it. It is, isn't it? Um, Obviously been knocking around a long time. See, so, yeah, what do we think? Put, I think that's what you put like birds on, like pheasants or something. Oh really? Do you think so? Like what like oh okay, yeah, after hunting. I don't know. Could imagine it in like a butcher shop or something, couldn't you? So yeah, that's a really good sign. Um we've seen lots of broken stuff, so that means we are on the trail of um hopefully some complete things. First bottle um has come out. So yeah, onwards to the next find. Okay, so just beyond the trees um, up through there, you can probably see there's quite a high bank and that is um, sort of backing up on ourselves from where we just came down um, the footpath. So Ryan has been um, up climbing over there, just having a look through the woods, seeing what he can find while I've been uh, digging around down here. Um, and he's come back with a little collection of three of these. Uh, we have actually, I think we found one of these before and didn't know what they were and you guys kindly helped us out. There they are, um, like clay pigeons. Is that how you, yeah, the clay pigeons, yeah. that's how you would describe them, isn't it? So, um, so when people go clay pigeon shooting, these get shot up in the air uh, by a machine and you have to, uh, you have to shoot them, you know, to practice, I suppose, as if you were hunting. So yeah, nice orange one, two black ones. Obviously they were missed um, because they're still complete. So yeah, there must have been some shooting going on at some point somewhere near these woods, uh, which is quite fun, isn't it? So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can, see what else we can find. Uh, we're having a great time. I think it's modern. Yeah, let's go and have a look at that actually. We take those. There is another box over here. Yeah, it is modern, isn't it? Yeah. Which is really, it's, it's quite surprising actually because there's not very much modern rubbish here at all. But yeah, it is just a modern beer bottle, so we'll, um, we'll take that with us and 
clear up as we go. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, so I'm going to film as we go because I just can't stop showing you uh, how wonderful it is here. I could just spend hours um, walking around. So I'll bring you with me for a little bit. Oh, just to let you know as well that we have, um, we've just updated our Etsy shop. So there are loads of new um, Larkin finds on there. Um, and we have also put on um, some other sort of souvenir vintage stuff that we, like I've been collecting for like years and I've always kind of intended to, um, to set up some sort of Etsy shop or something because I can't keep possibly keep everything that I find and that I uh, come across. Um, so there are some pretty cool um, other things that are not Larkin finds on there. So do go and check that out because I'm sure some of you guys might be interested in that. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I've also got a um, new camera today. So hopefully slightly better quality, hopefully, than um, the last video. Although... Um, we kind of don't know until we get home and make the video, so fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, we've got, oh yeah, patrons, I think, um, thank you to all of our patrons. We've got, I think, all of your addresses now. Uh, if you haven't sent it, then then do let us know because we've got some little gifts for you to say thanks so much for supporting the channel. If you do want to become a patron, um, it does really help us to get out and um, create content and find stuff and rediscover sort of lost history. So um, the link will be in the comments below. And we are at the moment just following the water, which is down there. Uh, and we're going to rejoin it again somewhere up here, I hope. So, uh, I will bring you back soon. See you in a sec. Okay, so I've just spotted something. You can probably see down there in the water from quite high on the bank. And I've, um, I've kind of pretty much abseiled down a slippery, muddy bank to have a look and see what it is. So, come with me. Let's hope it's something interesting. It's a lot of effort. Here he is. Oh look, it's a little colander. I feel like someone's been panning for gold or something here. It's a little colander. <laughs> I might actually keep it, it might come in handy, you know. So yeah, spotted that from a mile away and was like, need to go and see what it is. You just never know, I guess. So look, this is my next fun find. I just found this while I was climbing back up the bank and I made it, thank goodness. It's like a handmade little, I mean, I don't know what it is, but it was clearly used for something. It's like a divining rod or something. Maybe it was used for finding water. <laughs> but yeah, that's cute, isn't it? I quite like it. Hi everyone. Okay, so we've reached this lovely spot um, at the bottom of the woods. Just look at it here. We, um, so I'm going to have a little look around. I've got miles to look around here. Uh, and then Ryan's just going to kind of head up over this way. Um, and just beyond there, you can see there's another footpath just sort of through there. So while we're waiting, we are going to um, use Ryan's Kelly Kettle and we're just gonna have a little cup of soup each because we've been out for absolutely hours. It is freezing cold. Um, so we're just about to light it now and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you it as we cook. Okay, so finally back in the water after what seems like a long time. Uh, we've had our soup break, so we're feeling suitably sustained. And uh, look at it, isn't it just wonderful here? So I'm going to have a little mooch around, see what I can find. Ryan's already spotted something just as he was waiting for the soup to cook, so I'll show you that in a second. It's just a stone. I thought it was something more magnificent than that, but there we go. So yeah, I'm going to have a little scooch around. I've got sort of quite a way that I can go 
I can either go sort of behind me or back up against the water, which I will probably do. It gets a bit murky. Um, yeah, look, you can see, a bit murky. So I'm hoping to find lots of exciting stuff. Uh, I will uh, head off now and I'll bring you back and let you know what I can find. Okay, so I have spotted some exciting stuff here. Look at this, just under this log. Oh, look, not a pretty piece of uh, blue and white, but um, the remains of an old bottle, ceramic bottle. And look, a little glass bottle just here that is still intact. Oh, I love these little small, they're almost like medicine bottles, I think. Yeah, little screw cap, but definitely got a good bit of age to it. Look at that, it's lovely. It just fits perfectly in the hand as well. Isn't that nice? So yeah, that's a definite one for the cabinet. That will go with the collection. It's cool, isn't it? And uh, on I go to the next thing. So I've just pulled this out of the water. This looks like it used to be blue, or maybe that's uh, just sort of water damage, I don't know. But yeah, a little metal. Looks like the top of a... Oh, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it used to go on top of a post or something, do you think? Or a doorknob, maybe? So, yeah, it's a shame there's not much more left of that. But uh, I'm at quite a shallow bit at the moment, so uh, I'm going to keep going a little bit further down. It suddenly gets a bit like this here, but that's all right. That's, it's, it's going off in about three different directions, I think, now. So uh, I'm going to follow each of them and see what I can find. OK, so um, I'm in a really murky bit, so I apologise that... Um, that it's not going to be that easy for you to see what I can see because of how uh, how muddy it gets. But look, I've just spotted this. What is that? Some sort of stopper, isn't it, or something? Yeah, that's pretty neat. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. What else have we got in here? Quite a lot of rocks. Oh, that's a leaf. <laughs> go into the murky bit because there's always something in the murky bit now. You can see something actually. What do we think? Stone or bottle? Oh it's freezing this water. Oh it is a bottle. <laughs> that was a good guess wasn't it? And these are lovely. I again love these little small ones. Oh, I think it might be an ink. So, yeah pretty cool. Yeah the water is really cold so uh, my hands are freezing. I'm just going to wait for it to clear a little bit and then I can see what else I can find. Onwards to the next thing. So look what I've just pulled out. A lovely glass bottle stopper. Look at that. These are really popular with you guys. You guys on Etsy love to buy these. Uh, I do keep some for myself. Look at this one. You can see the bubbles in the glass from where it was made. So yeah, that's really sweet, isn't it? Pleased with that one. And uh, yeah, excellent one to add to the collection. So yeah, it is pretty cold here today. As I said, my hands in and out of the water are uh, definitely feeling the uh, the cold. So Ryan's kept his little fire going and it just, it smells wonderful and it looks great too, doesn't it? So yeah, off we go. We'll bring you back uh, next time we find something cool to show you. Oh, I just remembered, I said I was going to show you this. Ryan found this when he was waiting for the uh, the Kelly kettle to boil, um, just up in the banks um, up in front of me. Look at this, an old bus. What does it say? Oh, a BP auto tanker, not a bus, from major pack number one, made in England. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? So yeah, that, um, it's obviously been, uh, been knocking around there for a few years, but I love finding things like that, I really do. So that is a definite keeper. Okay, so I'm hoping that I've got something very exciting to show you. I haven't even told Ryan that, uh, that I think I've just found one of these. I actually came over here because I thought this was something exciting. It is, in fact, as you can see, just a bit of tree. Uh, but from a distance, it looked like it might have been, uh, been a bottle or something. And just as I move the leaves next to it to have a little look, what did I spot? What do you think? Can it be? Let's go and have a look. Yes, it can. 
Yes, it can. How exciting. Do you know, I absolutely, if you watch my channel, you will know that I love finding these. They're not very common to find in these sort of waterways down here in the southwest. Um, and I can still remember pretty much every one that I've ever found. The first one I found was just the most exciting day. I think I told everybody I met what I just found. Um, and so, yeah, to find one, a complete one, even I even like finding like the bowls and things. So, yeah, very excited about that. Isn't that just marvellous? I don't think it's got any names or, or pictures or anything on it, but I didn't let that put me off. I'm very, very pleased with that find. That has made my day. So scrubbing around through this, um, this lovely little brook and the woods is quite possibly my favorite way to spend a weekend. Um, and I've just come across this look. I have seen a couple of these before, you know, um, but they're quite unusual for us to find. I don't think that we, I don't think that we found one at all, actually. Look at that, McLean's Peroxide Solid Dentifrice. So this would have been like pre-toothpaste. It would have been a tin, so this is just the lid. Um, look, oh, it's got some writing inside as well. McLean's Limited, Great West Road, I think. It, oh, sorry, you can't see it, can you? Great Britain, made in Great Britain by McLean's Limited, Great West Road. Whereabouts? London? Yeah. Isn't that just lovely? I do like to find a bit of old advertising or packaging. Um, you remember a little while ago we went to um, a bottle dump which was a bit more recent and there was loads of plastic packaging which obviously is not ideal. However, it was pretty cool to find some of the old like 70s and 80s uh, food packaging and I've kept a lot of that and I've, uh, yeah. So yeah, love to find things like that. Solid dentifrice. Excellent. Okay, so Ryan, as you know, is off at the bank um, metal detector and he's just called me over because he's had a coin find. Look at this. You can still see the picture on it. It looks like a pretty... I mean, it looks like an old guy. <laughs> but I think around the outside, you can just still see it says George or Georgius. I can't quite make out which one. Maybe a bit of a clean up. And we'll be able to see. We might be able to work out from the year if we can remember. Uh can't quite see the year on it there's Britannia no I can't quite see a year on it but uh, yeah that's really cool isn't it so let us know which George you think that is we'll see if uh, when we get it home and clean it up is it like the ones that I normally find that are flat it is quite flat and I'm lucky to have like a bit of a face left yeah yeah so definitely I find yeah quite a few coins that are flat and it feels like that material yeah it does I don't know Yes, definitely older than like the normal sort of George half penny, isn't it, that oh, you yeah. would find, I think. But yeah, I don't know much about it. We'll have to try and see if we can clean it up, as I've said. And if you guys know, then um, yeah, let us know. Oh, that's really neat. Look any, at him. Any cleaning tips? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, any cleaning tips for coins, let us know. Because we've kind of got the knack of bottles a little bit, but coins we still do struggle with. So, uh, so yeah, coin collectors out there, let us know what you think. So yeah, great find, Ryan. He's going to go back off up there and I'm going back off into the water. So we'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm just having a look around my favourite beachy bits, as, uh, as you know I like to call them. And look what I've spotted, just peering out at me. Isn't that cute? Let's have a look at him. Yeah, that's nice. Let's clean it up a sec. What does it say? Oh, we made it harder to read now, you know. It looks like it says something... Oh, New Bond Street. Shoebrook, I think it says. Sherbrook. New Bond Street, London. There is one in Bath as well. So, uh, could be there, couldn't it? But I doubt it. So, yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? I do love an old button. So, I'm going to keep that. That's going in my pocket. Uh, and I'm just going to have a bit more of a dig around and see if I can see anything else. It's like quite a solid lump of... Uh, rocks there you have to sort of move the leaves out of the way so a bit ungainly i realize oh you've got some things let's have a look what ryan's found then a sec oh let me just is that just a leaf yes <laughs> oh this is fun an old buckle look yeah i thought it's funny way that's still yeah still like it's seized open yeah that's really fun and i really like this this is fun but it feels quite old a pen it's metal yeah, an old metal pen, look at that. It does feel quite old. But then it would have had like a, looks like it would have had a click top. Isn't that fun? 
It's actually quite down quite deep. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I really like that. That's really that's really fun, isn't it? Someone would have used that. That's what I like about it's really it. Heavy. Yeah, it's quite heavy. That's really good. Good find. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little bit more of a mooch. I'll bring you with me for a sec. Just up along here. Um, yeah, so it is quite hard under the leaves, as I've said. Let me just have a kick around and see if there's anything else we can spot. And then I will show you. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? So I think the cold's sort of getting the better of us a little bit. Uh, we have been out for hours. We've had a wonderful sort of mooch through um, some lovely woods. A little bit of a kick round um, in this brook. Finally got my feet back in the water. And I've had a lovely time. I found some pretty cool stuff too, including the first clay pipe find we've had for ages. Um, so yeah, I've had a really, really good time. I really hope you've enjoyed the video too. A couple of cute little bottles. Ryan's had some nice finds. Um, and some beautiful scenery. Nice yeah, some nice soup. <laughs> so I'll do you a quick roundup when we get home. Uh, see you there. Hello everyone. Okay, so we're back home as you can see. Um, and uh, I'm just going to show you some of um, the things that we brought home today. So uh, so these are my favourite things uh, from, from today's adventure. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did bring this little hook home because I was quite intrigued by it um, and of course the pen because I just love the fact that somebody at some point will have used that who knows what for maybe as part of their job or profession um yeah so I love I love that the buckle's great isn't it it's used as it is of course these beads had to come home we're going to try and clean these up um I don't think you know they're they're nothing precious but um but yeah just a wonderful thing to find aren't they so so they'll be cleaned up a little bit um, and the little pin that we found with it and that little bag of goodies as well. So, um, yeah, so that's a really lovely thing to bring home. And then uh, what else have we got? So uh, we've got these clay pigeons. So five of those Ryan found. Some nice bottles. Tall one, two lovely small ones, my favourite. My little colander, panning for gold colander. I like to believe that someone was down there doing um, the coin. And the glass bottle stopper, the McLean's solid dentifrice, a little button here, look, that I found just on the edge of the water. I love that. That's really cool, isn't it? Uh, and then um, some things along the front. So a little piece of pottery, some sort of um, stopper or lid from something. Who knows what this is? Door handle or something, I'd say. The little um, tanker cool isn't it of course my wonderful clay pipe find for today so yeah super pleased with today's haul it was a really really lovely walk through the woods um a really lovely location a nice stop with the kelly kettle for a bit of uh warming up and uh, look at all these treasures that I've brought home with me. So I'm super pleased. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Please do um, like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Um, and we hope to be back out soon making more adventure videos to share with you guys. See you all soon. Bye.